Yeah, and so there's like two or three things uh, back there, right? <laughs> so if I uh, start on one, just remind me on, on, on another. Uh, but he has experience dealing with all the noise. I think he's able to compartmentalize and use that as motivation. Um, he has some bigger, you know, to, to play for and compete for. I, I think that's where he's starting to transition, which happens uh, as you get more experience and more years under your belt. I can relate to Tyler. You know, dealing with all that kind of noise um, um, early on in your career. I mean, it seemed like every off season I, I was dealing with something very similar to what you he's dealing with, and then hopefully you get to a point where the noise just quiets down uh, because um, in providing that kind of value and everybody totally uh, gets it, and understands it. Um, but he's he's very mentally stable. And, uh, he's ambitious and he has a, a, a terrific work ethic. So he's ready. I mean, he's he's used all of this as fuel. Um, I don't blame him for that. Uh, I just know that he's going to be ready, you know, for, for this season. Um, and he wants to really uh, you know, help contribute. The last part of your question was what? Ball handling. Ball handling. Is he going to be point guard? You know, I don't. I'm not going to put him out there day one and, and he's listed as as the point guard. Will he handle quite a bit? Yes. Uh, in spots where he can be efficient and effective. He's really improved basically every facet of his offensive game. Uh, I'm not really concerned about that. Uh, his skill level is, is up there with, with anybody in this league at the perimeter position. And he will be able to you know, play make, play w without the ball, be effective in, in those situations. Um, you know, his ability to set up other guys has really improved uh, as well. The shooting is as dynamic as anybody in the league. Um, so he'll, he'll be able to, to find ways where he can be aggressive and, and be himself.